In this lecture, we will learn how we can view the mass properties of the parts we create. So we have created this cube and we specified oak as a building material for it. If we go to tools on the top and go down to the bottom, you will see the tab mass properties. If you click on this, you will get some information about the model we have created. First, you'll get the density, which is 0.02 pounds per cubic inches. This is the density of the material, which is oak. And then the mass of the cube we created is 2.53 pounds. The volume is 125 cubic inches. The surface area is 150 square inches. And the center of mass, which is 2.5 inches per axial direction, which makes sense for a cube. Let's close this and try changing the material and see what happens. So if I close this and then I change the material to some kind of iron, let's say, we're going to go with gray cast iron and click apply and close the window. Notice the appearance of the cube has changed to something that look like a gray cast iron. And then if we go to tools again and mass properties, you're going to notice the density changed to be the density of the gray cast iron, which is 0.26 pounds per cubic inches. The mass has also changed to 32.5 pounds. The volume is the same because it's the same cube. The surface area is the same and also the center of mass is the same because we are using the same cube. Now notice that everything here is in English units. It's in pounds and inches. The units here is whatever we used as units for the documents which are shown at the bottom here. We can see that we have the units as IPS, inches, pounds and seconds. So if I change that to millimeters, grams, seconds, and then I come back to this window and I select recalculate, you will notice that all the measurements have changed to gram per cubic millimeters, gram, cubic millimeters, square millimeters. If I change it to meters, kilogram, second, and then go to recalculate, Again, you will notice the change.